behold, a beautiful Native American fire opal blade. Dude, kill me with this. As my vision fades, I whisper, aesthetic. My name backwards spells disappointment and skin problems. Well, nice to meet you, Spellboard Nix Dana Tim the Haposid. All right, listen. You take me laser tagging and then push me into the corner and kiss me, then shoot me and walk away. My God. Imagine the OTP. Oh my god, this is a good prompt. God, my imagination is running wild at the moment. What does it mean when kisses you and they kick you and then shoot you? Can you do that prompt instead? If you want to know how long this year has been, the whole fucking tie pod fuckery happened in January. I don't remember which January, but it was the January. I don't... God. Kill me. Yo, did they ever track down the baby born at Dashcon? The, the what? You know, the Dashcon baby. The baby born in the ball pit of Dashcon. What? The what? The Dashcon baby! Okay, fine. History lesson. All right, here we go. At Dashcon, a late-term pregnant lady, there for a writing panel, I believe, arrived, and while going around the event, her water broke around two months earlier than expected and began to go into labor. There was a huge traffic jam because of, you know, and driving to the hospital was out of the question. So they called an ambulance. But the thing is... Because of the traffic jam, it took over 40 minutes, and she was going into labor now. A nurse in training there took over and had to deal with the woman, so they took the ball pit, being the best thing they could think of in the most empty area, cleared some of the balls away, and had to use that as a surface to deliver the baby. Around five minutes before they got there, they managed to deliver the baby. Thankfully, in a safe state. I... that can't... Oh god, that can't possibly be true, can it? Can it? Can it? Bard is a combat class, which is true, because I've never met anyone in marching band that didn't want to throw down. All right, let me tell you all, you cheeky scrubs, something. Playing tuba in marching band means you can power walk two miles backwards on your toes in 16 minutes without bending your knee while carrying a 35-pound blunt metal object with your arms held at right angles and blasting every gulp of oxygen you can spare without asphyxiating to make sounds loud enough to deafen the dead in an act of pure unchristian violence. Your bard is a party member who will teach you how to kill God by example. Jeez. Y'all, I just figured out how to make origami swans. Time to bombard my friends with thousands of little swans to make them happy and laugh. This is the extent of my chaotic neutral energy. I'm gonna fill their lockers with swans. My art may never be as good as I want it to be, but I have hands and a pencil, and I will make that everyone else's problem. That being said, here's some Sienna for your face! What now? What are you gonna do? What do you get when you mix alcohol and literature? <laughs> to kill a mockingbird? F. Scott Fitzgerald. Ernest Hemingway. They're called leggings because you put your leg... You put your leg... They're called leggings because... No, it's okay. Take your time. Let's just be clear. If you spend the time baking a cake, cookie, or brownie, you can eat as many of them as you want, and the calories don't count. You made those calories. You're their god. Disclaimer, this does not apply to the children you made. Look at you, Kronos. Oh, look at that. Levitate. I believe it's called Wingardium Leviorca. Okay, so real talk. My grandfather got suspended from Catholic school for referring to Jesus Christ and the Twelve Apostles as JC and the boys. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that the one that breaks me? I'm just imagining, like, this boy band now. It's just Judas is like the asshole of the group. Why do stores always say gifts for her? Who is she? Why are millions of Americans being encouraged to buy gifts for this entity? So explain. We must appease her. She is all that keeps the darkness at bay. Without her, the old ones will rise again. We must not disappoint her. She is watching, and she knows, and she goes. Fuck! Okay, real talk. The only character tropes that matter. The mad scientist, the goth, and the chaotic dumbass. So, you mean Eggman, Shadow, and Sonic, in that order? You. You get it. So today I learned that gothic literature makes a distinction between terror and horror. Terror is the sense of dread and apprehension that precedes an experience. Horror is the sense of revulsion after an experience. And someone described the modern difference as such. Fear is knowing that a werewolf is hunting you. Terror is when you see it and it charges at you. 
and Horror is realizing that your feet are stuck to the floor. And Smut realizes that you're into all of that. Okay, here's the weather for today. It's 30... Four six or Slavarcast, I guess? Oh, the weather outside is protected!